and good morning. It is Tuesday, June 2nd, and uh, today I'm going to share with you five uh, destinations that you can get excited about uh, going to. I'm finding that I, uh, as I'm here in uh, isolation, uh, sheltering in place, uh, not much to do out in the world, uh, I'm planning my escape. And uh, stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my number one destination. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump onto my computer here and um, show you some pictures uh, so we can get kind of a little bit of the feel. And I'll tell you a little bit about each of the five uh, destinations and why they're important to me. Frick. Um, so I've, I've picked uh, 10 pictures here. So I'm going to highlight those 10 pictures. And then you hit uh, shift and space bar, and it will uh, let you create a slideshow. Okay, now I'm just gonna make it a little bigger here, like that. Okay, so first off is the Maldives. Is that not beautiful? So this is a destination I've been wanting to go to for a few years now, and what appeals to me is just, um, it's hard to get to, it's um, expensive, and uh, there's just a bunch of little islands. It just seems like a great place to go. I want to do a little scuba diving there and uh, just wake up and uh, jump in the water. So I definitely want to get one of these bungalows that's over the water. Um, look at that. You know, that's like a view from your room. you just like, there's the water right there. Pretty awesome. So that's number one the Maldives. Okay, number two is Kyoto. Now, of course, I want to go to Tokyo and eat some sushi, but um, Kyoto just looks more like my vibe. It's kind of like people would say, go to Phuket in Thailand, and I went to Chiang Mai. It's, it's a little more of a, like a city. It's got, just seems to have more nature. Um, I've been looking at pictures of this bamboo grove forever, and I, I so want to walk through it. <laughs> um, so Japan, Kyoto, and uh, Tokyo. All right, this is Ireland. This is the scraggy, rough, rocky Ireland, and this is the West Coast. I've been to Dublin and Wicklow. Um, but I've been listening to the poet David White, and he a lot of his poems seem to emanate from this part of the world. And he specifically mentioned this lodge called uh, Loch Inna. And um, it just looks so great. The rooms look fantastic. It's reasonably priced. And um, I can just see myself there writing something, making a video. It just looks great. So Ireland. Ireland is back on the map. Okay, this is Florence, Italy. I've not been to Italy. I've been to many European countries, but I've not been to Italy yet. And of all the cities that are interesting to me, uh, Florence is the most. Uh, my daughter's been there. She said it's beautiful and it's not far away from the water. Um, so that's, uh, and the food. Oh my God, look at that pizza. You know that tastes so good. Mm, so simple and yet uh, so freaking delicious. So I want to eat in Italy. And my last stop, I want to eat some, uh, some grilled meats on the side of the road in Bangkok. So I've been to Bangkok. I was there last uh, January and I want to go back. I loved it there. I love the warmth. I loved everything about it. Um, this is me um, at the Labua Sky Bar which is uh, like 60 some stories up and it's this beautiful bar and there was hardly anybody there and me and my buddy were there and it was just great. So I miss Bangkok and I look forward to going back. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, uh, got excited about going to uh, someplace that you haven't been before or in the case of Bangkok for me, someplace I have been before, but I want to go again. Um, it's, travel is amazing. You learn so much, and um, gosh, it's just uh, it's just a way to enrich your life and and um, and bring empathy and compassion uh, to your life and um, and new experiences and new people. It's fantastic. 
Um, so this is Jay Crater saying thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a little thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I do this once a week and um, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.